Previously on Lunar Lux, we spent a lot of time exploring the civilian area of Red Golivia, and almost lost a locked chest forever. When Bella tried to board a hovercraft, another hovercraft crash-landed in the barrier facility with a huge merc on its tail. Worse yet, a trio of mercs spawned in the civilian area, resulting in a rather intense battle of attrition. Okay, it says danger. Does that mean there's a boss right up ahead? Let's head west and investigate the barrier facility. Okay. Huff. Huff. Gosh, it's getting kind of hard to breathe. Uh-oh. Bella, oxygen levels are slowly decreasing. Is there a leak? The astral barrier in is in emergency model, in emergency mode. Huff. There might have been a system breach. Do you think the merc that flew by earlier could have caused that breach? Possibly. We might have to fight against that merc if we encounter it again. Let's avoid killing any mercs unless it's absolutely necessary. But how else am I supposed to farm... Uh, farm resources. Alrighty. Is there actually a bonus for avoiding merc battles? The actual barrier is the only thing keeping us from flowing off into space. We must be protected. Let's go investigate. There's a ladder on the back of the side of this pillar. Climb down the ladder. Does it lead to any secret? Just a few items. 350 bytes. 20 Astrotech. Climb back up. Why is there a cannon there? Is it gonna shoot me? Okay, is there a trap here? What is this red one? Jetpack? Uh, Jetpad that we cannot use. Okay, let's actually head down first. Super energy. Starlight point. Is this the boss room? Hmm, seems I can't do anything in this area, though. Looks like a boss room, but I don't see the boss. Oh no! Oh, I'm screwed! How the heck am I going to fix this? Excuse me, hi. My name's Bella, I'm with the Lunex Force. <laughs> Why did these two suddenly show up? Or is there a group battle? We're here to help, tell us what happened. Oh, thank goodness. My name's Met, I'm a cargo transporter. Met, take a deep breath and relax a bit, everything will be okay. Sorry, Miss Bella, I tend to start under extreme stress. Okay, so a scary flying merc appeared out of nowhere while I was delivering a new shipment of lunar panels. It damaged my hovercraft, caused a power surge, and disappeared. The sudden power surge is what caused the astral barrier to enter emergency mode. Miss Bella, we need to get into the access hatch that's underneath the hovercraft in order to repair the damages and initiate a different protocol. As it is right now, if we, if we don't get access to the hatch, we'll be locked in Sector 16. Hmm. Ah, oh my god, what do I do? I don't know how to fix a hovercraft. Don't worry, Met. Bella here is the daughter of the great Dr. Thomas, a young prodigy in both combat and wits. Ah ha. Heck, good thing I have a trusty sidekick to help me. Tetra, can't we communicate with the computer that's inside the barrier facility remotely? The EM towers are, are damaged, so communication to the system is blocked. Oh, great. How can we move the hovercraft? Fix the engine? Is there a way to fix the engine? Wait, I just remembered something. My hovercraft is a model and supply carrier, which means the gravity propulsion system is electrically powered. Although the battery connection and starting mechanism is busted, if we can somehow pump some electricity into the engine core, we should be able to re-energize it and get it working again. Afterwards, you guys will be able to ac get access to the hatch. Electricity. Zap zap. Okay, I have an idea. Lunar panels. Oh, I see. Lunar panels generate electricity. That just might work. It has to. I can't think of anything else. That seemed like the most logical answer, but what if I pick one of the other answers? Those seem like bad ideas. I don't want to destroy it. The problem is, I have no clue how to connect or install lunar panels. Time to zip. Let's go find someone who can help us. Sorry for all the trouble. 
Don't worry, Met. It's not your fault. Oh, hell no. We're already under attack. Bella, two mercs detected. Ah, mercs. Ugh. Sorry, I... I... I'm absolutely terrified of these monsters. Met, stay here while we're safe. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Guys, take care of, the, of Met, please. I'll handle this. Two on one? That's not good. Of course, you can count on us, Miss Bella. We'll only get in your way if we try to fight it with you. If I need backup, I'll let you know pronto. What was that? Huh? How do I get there? Maybe here. Hey, it's the Vigilante. Don't tell him I have to fight you. Oh shit, I didn't save. That's enough. Why is it crying? Wait a second. You're... You're the Merc Slayer. Don't move, you're under arrest. Return the anti that's in your possession. Ignorance is bliss, isn't it? What are you talking about? Do you sense it? It mourns. It suffers. It's overcome with grief. And overwhelming pain. The Mercs must be freed from this suffering. I will never trust the anti cores of the likes of you. What? I don't understand. If you can sense their suffering, why hunt them down? What are you doing with all the anti cores you collect? I don't need to tell you anything. Don't get in my way. Wait! He escaped! Bella, the Merc! Put it out of its misery, huh? It's back! It's on, it's on fire! It looks like that Merc is really angry. There's no time to waste, we have to chase after it. Locate and capture the rampaging Merc. It's not, it doesn't look like the boss, though. Ah, it's right there. So it's this Merc right here, is that it? Yup, something's happening. There it is, we have to calm it down. Tetra, it's sidekick time. Ultra sidekick time. 200, it's pretty strong. Let's set up a shield. Damn, I blocked too late. Hmm. Let's see. Nope, too soon. It's gonna be tough to figure out this pattern. Oh, just barely. Okay, I can finish you off with one more hit. Tetra Buster. Sweet. We won. The Merc got away. How? Puff Puff, it's okay. Let's not worry about it right now. I don't think it'll come back anytime soon. Tetra, what's the oxygen level? 96%. Tetra is confused. There is still enough oxygen. You shouldn't have any trouble breathing right now. Well, I'm going to scan you. Bella! It's gonna be tough trying to S rank that enemy. It shoots. I have to get, figure out the timing for blocking. Are these all the mercs that she killed? I'm sorry. All this fighting. All this suffering. There has to be a way. There must be. I. I've killed so many mercs. I'm really sorry. If I had to choose between sparing you or saving humanity, I'm forced to save humanity. Because it's my sworn duty to protect the people of Luna. You're monsters. We're humans. But that doesn't mean we have to kill each other in order to survive. Right? Mom. 
What did you discover about these creatures? I wish you had the chance to tell me. Bella! You're finally awake. You passed out. Hi, Tetra. Hmph. You've been dis dishonest with Tetra. You didn't faint because of the oxygen levels. This whole time you were wounded. Eh, uh, yeah. It happened during our fight with the free Grim Rocks. Why didn't you say anything? Tetra was worried. I'm sorry. We had to investigate the hovercraft situation and I guess I thought I could tough it out. If is Tetra a bad sidekick? No, no, it's my fault, Tetra. I should have at least taken the time to clean up my wound. You're the best to mix me up psychic ever. Okay, don't scare me like that at next time. If Dr. Thomas was here, he would say, that's my Bella. Always reckless as ever. But the power of her heart and soul is unrivaled. That's what makes her a true hero for the people of Luna. That's so embarrassing, heh. <laughs> Wait, how long have I been unconscious? Exactly 48 minutes and 37 seconds. Oxygen level? 79%. Okay, oof, okay, that's, let's not waste any more time. We have a mission to complete. Okay. I feel much better now. Thanks for taking care of me, Tetra. Heh. Heh. Jumpstart the hovercraft engine and fix the astro barrier. First find someone who can help you obtain lunar panels. Is there a way to practi uh, practice against that enemy again? Hmm. It has uh, two skills, but I only ever saw the unblock uh, undodgeable one. Man, I'm starving. But I can't leave my post. I have a job to do. That's yes, right, I'll die of hunger before we die from running out of oxygen. Miss Bella, I have a favor to ask. Do you mind getting for me a crunchy bar? They sell crunchy bars at the cafe vending machines. Please, I'll pay you double the amount it costs. I'm starving. Okay, get to the cafe. Maybe this vending machine will have it. Okay. Only two left in the machine. We'd like to buy one. 200 bytes, yes. Oh, two crunchy bars drop at the same time. It's your lucky day. It's all sold out. That no I don't think that ever happens to me in real life. Getting lucky with uh, the uh, uh, with vending machines. What you're telling me? There, uh, the, these are the were the last two crunchy bars. I was two crunchy bars away from death. Thanks so much, Miss Bella. I only needed need one, so you can keep the other. I forgot how much these things cost. Like I prom like I promise, I'll pay you double. How much was the crunchy bar? What? It doesn't matter because I can farm all of these resources very easily. But I feel like I should tell him the truth because if he finds out later that I lied, I think he would get mad, huh? But why is Astro? Why even give us the option to say Astro Tech? Literally no vending machine ever takes Astrotech. That is a bald-faced lie. I'm gonna see what happens when I say Astrotech. Oh, you want 25 Astrotech instead? Sure, I can do that. I don't think it matters which one I pick. But I feel like Astrotech is harder to get, uh, slightly harder to farm than Bites. Mom in heaven, this crunchy bar is delicious. I don't know the point of that exchange. Dara's is waiting for me to get home so we can play video games. Ah, oh, Bella, how's it going, dear? Miss Nyla, we need your help. You're an expert on lunar panels, right? Ah, oh, yes, dear. Alright, here's the situation. I see, well, you came to the right person. So is it possible to use lunar panels to jumpstart the hovercraft? Hmm. It's definitely possible. Here's what we need. Ten lunar panels and one thermoelectric generator. That's oddly specific. Where are we supposed to get a generator? My dear, this is Regolithia. We're on the outskirts of Taicho, the scientific capital of Luna. This sector is a popular destination for Astrotech traders. They often sell various goods and tech you can't find anywhere else. Try looking for an Astrotech trader in the barrier facility. As for Luna panels, I believe we have enough spare ones in the storage unit. The storage unit is located south from here. Take this. Storage unit key? Okay. You now access storage unit 003. Well, I stored the information from Miss Nyla in my memory banks. Talk to me in case you forget what we need. I'm 100% sure this will work. No. Scratch that. I'm 10 billion percent sure. Thanks so much for your help, Miss Nyla. Of course, dear. Come see me once you've gathered the panels in the generator. If you want, I can even teach you a thing or two about the panel how the panels work. 
Eh, I'm not really a science whiz, so I'll leave that stuff to you. Alright, dear, I'll wait for you here. Is this a puzzle? Yeah, it's a puzzle, but why are some of them red? Does that mean I can flip them? Spare oxygen, sh oxygen tanks. One lunar panel. Okay, see what they look like now. But I have to find a way to flip them. Is there a switch? Essentials need to survive space expeditions. Okay. Before... So, I'm guessing this... Looks like this door has an electric lock. There should be a control panel around here somewhere. If we find a control panel, I can dive into the network, heh. Okay, let's keep going. 400 bytes. Bella, this looks like a dead end. And the arrow tiles are preventing us from going back. Are we trapped? No, I bet there's a way through. We just have to find it. Lunar panel obtained. A wire condensing unit prevents corrosion on sensitive equipment. Soldering tools. Whoa, a hidden path. See, Tetra, I told you there was a way through. Heh. <laughs> Heh. What's. Where are these bars here? Lunar panel obtained. What? What the? It's a teleporter! This control panel seems to be on, but it's not responding. Well, I think there's a software glitch. I can digitally dive into the network and reboot the software. Have Tetra dive into this control panel network. Yes, but does, do I have to fight with her alone? Is she gonna be like a net navvy? Yeah, it does look- What? Network link established. Reach the end of the stage to reboot the network. Shit, I didn't save. Watch out for viruses and stage hazards. If Tetra loses all her lives, the reboot will fail. These are Tetra Buster and viruses. A to shoot. It's weird having to go diagonal, though. I have to only cross when it's small, I guess. This is really hard. It's so easy to slip. It's so slippery, the movement. I got a life back, but it's not going to be enough. Let's me shoot more. I need my buster power to be a four to get past certain obstacles, I see. Reboot, yes. Network rebooted. Oh, that was close. Retrieving exit link. Tetra EXE exit link established. There's no boss, is there? Okay. Okay, now I can get into that little door there. Lunar panel obtained. So this trash can is like a black hole, right? Just suck in trash. Poster of a cool video game character. The caption on the bottom reads the legacy of N Wave. It's so a switch here. Will you press it? Yes. That reverses all red arrows. That makes it a little easier to traverse some areas, huh? Another lunar panel. Another lunar panel. 
Oh no, is that a locked chest? Are there clues I have to worry about? Phil, there's some lunar panels behind the glass wall. Oh, you're right. Looks like there is a second entrance to the storage unit. Time for an optical zoom. 25%, 50%, 75. Hmm. Oh, I can see a really tiny label on the capsule elevator switch. What does it say? Barrier facility cargo hold. Good work, Detra. So we have to go to the barrier facility. The back entrance is located in the barrier facility. Oh, man. This is not such a straightforward mission, is it? Skill point capsule. You gain 10 skill points. Oh, I thought I would have to... I don't, so the, only the red ones have a combination. The black ones do not. Okay. That makes life a little easier for me. Oh, there's a secret here. Another lunar panel and super energy. No new messages. No, wait, there's... Oh, there's actually a lot of messages. What the heck? That's actually kind of insane. I can't believe I missed all these. Space boy. Bro, your multiply skill is only level 1. In order to get a higher multiplier, you'll need to level up your multiply skill using skill points. It's just using soul aura. It costs 2 shields, but you get a four plus 40 in power. I don't know if it's worth it if the enemy has a lot of undodgeables. With that strat, you could obliterate those hyperbeats with your photon cannon. Rasuru Bell Strat. Whoa, teach me more, Senpai. Ugu. Has anyone seen my Hertz Cube? I think I lost it somewhere near the barrier facility. Chat here, how the heck do I get an S rank in Val? Is there a timer? Does it depend on the number of turns? Does it depend on my hit points? I need answers. Simple, don't get hit. I see King Knight as a man of many words. Don't mess around with Kingnet. He's super serious about battling. I heard here he's incredibly powerful. I wonder if Kingnet is actually a vigilante. It's probably no match for the Merc Slayer. No, uh, who knows? Support skills. I'd rather equip my healing support skills right before a big battle. Make sure to check your support skills menu to see what you have equipped. Lol. The actual barrier is an artificial atmosphere generator and defense system. You can also communicate with the gravity and oxygen generators using EM waves. Its existence has allowed life to comfortably survive on the moon. It's the year of 30XX. Here's your daily quote. Uh, uh, daily quote. May your luck shine forever bright. You know, imagine there's like invisible roads around us. Bro, what if it's made of like electromagnetic waves, you know? Deep stuff, man. Ty Tyrion, I think you've had one too many energy drinks. 20XX humanity used to live on the now volcanic and lifeless planet known as Terra. Due to the planetary catastrophe Astra, humans were forced to find a new home. Unfortunately, no habitable planet existed within a reasonable distance, so the remaining survivors made their way to Luna, the moon that orbits Terra. Filled with hope, dreams, and determination, humanity continued to survive and flourish in a new home. This is Detective Polo. I'm looking for info regarding recently discovered ruins and anyone who might have knowledge on the language engraved on the walls of Luna. Volta here, is there a way to make my active skills stronger? Yep, you can use neural links to level up your active skills. They're not easy to obtain, though. Life is but an experiment. It's a reaction of chaos and wonder. Strangely, this BBS post dates back to 10 years ago. It won't go away no matter how many times you reload the feed. It must be a glitch or something. Heh. The next 69 replies is just heh. 69. The moment when your support skills generate, and you get free of the exact same support skill... Ugh. This post went viral, apparently. F. I always find bites lying around inside the caverns of Regolithia. It's not that much, but it's easy money if you go out of your way to locate them. On second thought, maybe I shouldn't have posted this. Have you guys checked out the shop in Copernicus? I upgraded my ship yesterday. It's so decked out, yo. Cost me like a thousand gigabytes. Totally worth it. Did anyone lose their cat recently? I work at the barrier facility as, and, as well as, uh, and I was on my way home. I saw a chubby cat flying around in a spacesuit. I had to pinch myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming. Lunex Force. Want to join the Lunex Force? We are now recruiting. Rex, now recruiting. Oh my god, do we get our own gun sabers that we join? A gun saber's blade and bullets are embedded with plasma. 
It was designed to be able to damage the mercs. I heard Lunex Labs is currently designing a new merc busting weapon that incorporates tech from the vessels and is powered by anti cores. Lunex Force, wanted merc slayer, name unknown, age 20s. If anyone spots the merc slayer, please con contact the Lunex Force immediately. Zeta Man. Honestly, we need to find the man and have him join the Lunex Force or something. Who cares if he stole military property? He's a freaking merc busting powerhouse, he can help protect us. Feeling lucky? If you see a shooting star in the sky, you should press A. Wait, what? Hello, it's me, Tetra. Does anyone have any unique Lux combo recipes to share? An expert sidekick not only assists the hero during battles, but also they also ensure the hero gets the best advice and tips outside of battle as well. I right, got one for you. It's called Holo Hurricane. Try combining two Holo shields and a gun saber or echo shield. Uh, I cannot pr uh, pronounce any of that. Hi there, um, why isn't my universal translator working? Billy, your UT chip has been damaged during your battle with the mercs. Oh, I'm really sorry, ma'am. I'm not fluent in cycloid language. That's right, your universal translator works, works, right? Yep. Did she just say Ara Ara? What did she say? What are you guys giggling about? I had nothing. She's very funny. Oh well, we can chat later. I have to get my UT chip fixed first. Take care. Wait, Bill, I have an idea. If you activate your jet suit, you can get around much faster. We'll save lots and lots of time, heh. <laughs> oh, you're right. Gosh, why didn't I think of that sooner? There's a jet pad nearby. Let's check it out. But we need authorization, don't we? Jet pads allow authorized users to fly around Luna using jet suits. Lunar law prohibits unlicensed users from activating your jet suits without a jet pad. Use your jet suit to expand your world. But, uh, it appears your flight chip has been damaged. Access denied. Oh, shoot, my flight chip probably got damaged from our Merc battles. I need to get it fixed or find a new one. Bella, let's look for merchants in the barrier facility. I bet Astrotech, an Astrotech trader might have some flight chips. Alright, I guess we're going on foot for now. Howdy, the name's Nim. I'm a tribal merchant. I have got a few things to sell if you're interested. Will it be? What? That's a lot of bites, though. I need the shield booster, though. Yep, it's a one-time purchase. Knew it. Skill capsule? Are all of these one-time purchases? No, that one can be done multiple times. He's a cute puppy. Would you like to pet the puppy? Yes. Woof woof. Pet the puppy softly. The puppy w wags, it, uh, wags his tail excitedly. He seems eager for more head pats. So do I have to keep doing this for a reward? Pet the puppy again. The puppy's delighted. He seems eager for even more head pats. Furiously excited puppy is drooling everywhere. He's enjoying all your head pats. Check the name tag on the color of the puppy. His name is Buddy. You call his name and his tail like seriously. It's Buddy the puppy. Would you like to pet Buddy? Yes. Buddy gives you puppy dog eyes as you pet him. How long does this chain go? Pink skills are top notch. Buddy is pleased. You and Buddy are in full sync. You feel power salt welling up inside of you. Power of cute puppies shines within you. But he's happy to see you. He gives you a slobbery lank you kiss for all the head pats. How long does this go on for? Pet Buddy very gently and slowly. He seems to be enjoying this petting speed too. You and Buddy decide to practice a petting speed run. Buddy Sensei is impressed. How, how long until it loops? What is it, Tetra? Nothing. Hm. Aw, oh, seems like someone is jealous, huh? Maybe a little. Hmm. I'll give you a head pats later, I promise. Heh, <laughs> okay. You and Buddy are moving at speeds that can't be seen by the untrained eye. A beautiful and epic display of lightning speed petting and tail wagging is occurring even though it appears as if you're not moving at all. You and Buddy have become good friends. Okay, it's. I ended the dialogue there. Yo, I'm an Astrotech trader. Call me Cypher. So if you got some Astrotech on hand, we can trade goods, yeah? Awesome, here's what I got. I need a generator, right? Hmm. I also need a universal translator. 
and flight ship, but now I don't have enough for a hit point booster. I'll get that later. Do I talk to you? If you're looking for the Astro Tech Trader, I reckon I saw him somewhere in this area. Yeah, I just met him. What does the Astro Tech Trader have to say? See, I come from up north. My shop's up in Colony Silica. I usually come down here to hunt for Astro Tech. Silica is the mining district of S Luna. There's a lot of treasure hunters there. That's right, yo. We got the rarest minerals and materials up there. Regolithi, on the other hand, is filled to the brim with techno goods, yo. Yo, yo, yo. So what do you do with the Astro Tech? I can use Astro Tech to make some pretty neat things. Machinery and gadgets are my forte. If you ever get the chance, stop by my shop in Silica. And upgrade your jet suit and customize your spacecraft if you like. Hello, I see you can understand me now, huh? Hi there, sorry about that. My translator wasn't working. Do you need help with something? Oh no, not at all. I was simply saying hello. Your little sidekick here is really cute. I told her that your hair is beautiful and reminds me of cotton candy. Aw, uh, thank you. Nice said uh, your ponytail reminds me of soft serve ice cream, huh? I'll take that as a compliment, huh? <laughs> you went out of your way just to be able to speak to me. No worries, communication is very important. It helps us connect to one another and grow unbreakable bonds. You're so kind. Here, take this for all your troubles. 60 Astro Tech. That should be enough to buy the remaining upgrade. How do you say thank you in Cycloid? Quirty. Quirty Quirty. Okay, let's buy the final upgrade. Hit point booster. I wish he had, I was hoping he had a different dialogue for buying out all his stuff. Oh well. Now that I can fly. Press A to activate jet suit. Is there a limit to how much I can fly though? Okay, there is a limit to the map itself. Can I talk to the other guys flying around? These lunar panels are heavy. I can't talk to them. Okay, but how do I land? What if I want to grab items? Looks like we got a red cadet here. Still a shrimp, I see. Haha. <laughs> Someday you'll be as strong as I am. Ha <laughs> ha. His rank has gone to his head. What a doofus. Tetra, scan him. Hmm, according to his records, his max PR for squats is 160 pounds. Piff, that's nothing. Mine's like 300 pounds. What's so funny there, Red Cadet? How much can you squat? Yeah, I could squat 260 pounds easy. Piff. Whatever, well, I don't have time to chit chat with Red Cadets. What a doo doo head. 15 Astro Tech. A small note. Input 2 down. Oh, so that's how you get the final clue. Hey, I can even fly in sight here. Convenient. Two thousand bytes. Ah, three hundred bytes. Are there any enemies in here? Hyper energy. The ultimate heal. Normal energy. Thousand bytes. Okay. I definitely s Wait, what if I try to fight that thing while flying? What happens? Is there a glitch? Will it glitch me? That'd be pretty cool if it gave me d additional skills while, while flying, huh? Oh no! Hey, it's the fire guy! Good, I need to practice your moveset. All of their attacks are undodgeable? That sucks. Let's do this again. Charge! 
Not good. Lux combo. No. Not good. Sweet. We won. It doesn't change my battle animations at all. And also, I still failed to S rank it, dang it. What is that? A Ben Hertz Cube. They are typically used to store and protect currency or valuable goods. This Hertz Cube appears to be locked. Maybe we could use the la lasers to open it up? What Lasers? What are you talking about? Are you saying there's some kind of puzzle where we have to redirect lasers? It's a laser reflector. Looks like this laser is still operational, but its rotation mechanism is jammed. It cannot be rotated. Bell, the cargo hold entrance is sealed by a laser door. We'll get zapped if we try to go through it. Can you dive into the control panel and unseal it? Um, this control panel is completely busted. I can't dive into its network. Hmm, in that case, we can try something else. What do you suggest? You see those lasers? They're part of the Astro Barrier Defense System. I'm thinking we aim the lasers at the door. Heh. <laughs> Ooh, let's try it. But I have to use the lasers to get that one, too. Rotate. Can I make it go diagonal? Control lever behind this cr uh, crane. Select uh, crane drop distance. Uh, oh, I see. What about the skill box? Hit point booster. Let's check out how many rocks you talk to. Whoops. Neural link. Gun saber upgrade acquired. Oh, so I finally do get one. Now it hits, does 15 damage, but what about the support skill version? Does it also carry over that kind of damage? It should, right? Short? That might not... Will that be good? Let's see, I think this one actually points all the way to the chest. But how do I get to shoot? Okay, let's try firing it. Yes! I unlocked it. One hundred Astro Text. A cat? Meow. Oh, it's Echo. Hi, cutie. Kitty cat. Meow meow. A thousand... Ten thousand bites. Rare encounter. This is Echo's space cat. She's a pet cat aboard the Lunax space station. Echo absolutely loves to venture out into space. She can also be found as a rare encounter in certain areas in Luna. Okay, that that's nice, but it doesn't help me with my puzzle. No, I think I can make it medium. There. Okay, now I should hit the door. I think this is good. Yeah, have, having the the laser lines on really helps. We did! The laser door is open! Uh, it's gone! Laser expert Tetra to the rescue! The cargo hold should lead us to the back entrance of the storage area. It's also gonna lead us to more lunar panels, heh. <laughs> yup, let's go! But there might be a boss there. It looked pretty ominous. Wait, I wonder if this cannon here would have led to anything. Okay, is it necessary to have jetpack mode? 
Curve safe cannot be opened. Maybe there's a switch in the storage unit that could de deactivate the safe. I see, so it will be necessary to be in jet mode. Man, it's kind of scary here. I hope they give us a save point soon, because this looks dangerous. Lunar panel. Lunar panel. Wait, that just leaves one... I, st I still need one more lunar panel, dang it. Okay. I, I flipped that switch. Hopefully that last switch will get me to the lunar panel, because I... Unless I missed one back there. Let's grab some items here while I can. I don't... It's, I feel like I'm gonna get attacked here, but I don't know. I hope they give me advanced warning for when I do get to fight the boss. Also, I need to get the jetpack for that one black chest up there. Hyper energy. Yeah, I'm still missing one. This is bad. Oh no, I have 10 now. I guess I miscounted. Shield booster. Max shield increased by one. Good, I'm gonna need all these upgrades if I want to survive the next boss. I got all the items. Marvelous, you've done well. I drew up a schematic while you were gone. Connecting the lunar panels to the engine core should be easy. After doing some calculations, it turns out nine lunar panels should be sufficient. You can keep the extra one as a souvenir. You never know, it might come in handy again someday. Oh my, the air is starting to feel thinner and thinner. Time is short, dear. I'll meet up with you at the Covercraft once I gather all my tools. Nyla seems to be busy with the installation. Let's check out with Met first. Hmm. Oh, I really hope this works. It will, my dear. Don't worry. The power of science is amazing. Alright, everyone. Everything should be set up and good to go. Met dear. Get ready to pilot the hovercraft. Recharging the engine core in three, two, one. Okay, but we're probably gonna have to fight the uh, that giant merc soon. All right, there's there's a hatch. Time to make those repairs. Three minutes later. Mission complete. That can't, couldn't have been it, could it? Looks like everything is under control now. That's such a relief. I've called a few engineers over to help me quantify the extent of the damages. Thanks, Miss Nyla. Your efforts were admirable, dear. Using lunar panels was your idea, after all. You did great too, Tetra. Gotta go ultra psychic Tetra, heh. <laughs> Thank you. I might have lost my job today if it weren't for your help. This... This wouldn't have happened if it weren't for the mercs. Yeah. We should probably find that giant merc and f hunt it down. We should get going. I'm pretty sure it's worn out. Thanks so much for your hard work, everyone. Let's go, Tetra. Okay, the fact that I'm forced into using a teleporter means I'm probably going to run into the merc, right? He's gone! The traitor! Good thing I bought everything from him, or that would be pretty tragic. Tetra, something doesn't feel right. It's been on my mind for a while now. We never really found the merc that attacked Met. Not only that, but I've had this strange feeling we're being watched. You think it's attacking Tetra? Where's Tetra? How the hell did you disappear on me? Tetra! Did that thing eat Tetra? What? No, it, it sucked me in! That, I didn't know they could do that. Wait, no wait, they could, but... Oh shit, am I actually trapped in this dungeon? That's not good. Where am I? This is a dream? Shit, I should have bought more supplies. No, this feels too real. This must be... The world behind the wormholes. The Phantom Realm. Why did the Merc bring me here? Tetra! My looker says she's nearby. I have to find her Tetra and get out of here. Really sucks to have one save point. 
Find Tetra and escape from Phantom Realm. Ugh. Do I have enough items? Nine of these? Hmm. This is not good. I, if I knew, I would have bought more. Let's actually go back to the title screen. I should probably get more items. Okay, I got enough supplies, so I think it's okay to save. Yeah, I bought some more stuff from that guy. I, I thought it was suspicious they showed up all of a sudden. Crystal Shard. Your body absorbed a crystal. Max point increased by five. What the heck are you... That's such a r weird upgrade. Pile of glowing stardust. Okay. How am I supposed to get out of here? A dead end? Yeah, the problem is, I don't... Uh, I can probably save in here, right? I can, I can, does this crystal still heal me? Even then, I might want to keep some he, uh, some healing items on s s hand in case things go wrong. Tetra, thank goodness you're okay. Bella, Tetra is super duper glad to see you. I just de de detected the merc that attacked Met's uh, hovercraft and suddenly Tetra fell into, uh, into a wormhole and got transported to this scary space. Is this the Phantom Realm? I'm not sure, but that would be my guess. It's the, if the higher ups find out about this, we're going to get in big trouble. We'll be in even bigger trouble if we can't find a way out. I know, it's not like we had a choice to come here. I can't get it off my mind. Why did the Merc bring us here? Maybe it wants to kill us and feed us to its friends. Robots don't taste yummy, so I'm more worried for you, Bella. It isn't safe for us here. Don't worry, Tetra. Mom would go on Phantom Realm expeditions with her squad from time to time, remember? She never told me much about this place, but there's definitely a way out. Tetra, what's our coordinates? Coordinates unknown. Yep, we're definitely not on Luna anymore. Dang it. I have so many questions, but we don't have time to sit around and do nothing. This place is extremely dangerous. Let's find a way out. You can count on me. Phantom Expedition Psychic Tetra is ready. Having trouble getting accurate data from this environment. The ch chemical composition of the air and soil is unknown. Tetra is not sure how you're e even able to breathe here. Well, let's hurry up and find a way out. Okay, is that a portal? Yeah. Looks pretty dangerous here. What was that? Again, what's the strange feeling I'm having? It feels as if someone is calling me from far away. A voice! Bella, we're in enemy territory now. I'm detecting multiple mercs in the area. It's coming from those purple rifts. Alright, we'll have to be careful. Can I avoid them? Fighting them would not to be my not be to be my advantage right now since I'm I cannot buy anything. Max hit point again. Neural link here of all places. Support skill Lux boost. So maybe it increases my Lux faster. Dang it! If I knew, I would I would save up more skill points to upgrade it. Maybe I can go fight some guys right now. I'm near a save point after all. What kind of enemies are am I up against here? Same old ones or something different? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Is it just me or does the area feel strangely familiar? What do you mean? It feels like we're in a reg regolithia. Whoa, but that's impossible. If my hunch is correct, the monolith should be around here somewhere. Let's keep going. But we cannot read the tombstones this time. Weird. So is the enemy right at the tombstone of her mother? Do we have to fight something the moment we examine it? There it is! There's a monolith here too! But how? Ah, uh -huh. oh, that was fast! That's the merc that brought us here! That merc sounded like it was crying in pain. My instincts are telling me to run, but my heart... My soul, don't tell me that Merc is your mom, or it's telling me something else. Tetra, we gotta stay sharp and keep moving. I think I have a plan to get us to lo back to Luna. Let's zip. Some of you are gonna convince the Merc to do it. Ah! Okay, seriously. 
Crimson Aura? There are too many support skills and not enough resources to level them up, huh? Oh, this one's really good, actually. Yeah, Crimson Aura, SP regen for three turns. Max hit point. I'm gonna need all of these. 200. And that might not be enough for the boss. Just give me a save point at a convenient location, please. Yep, there. Okay, good. Convenient location and even a boss symbol. The final battle awaits. For the demo, at least. Oh, but grinding is gonna be really hard here because I have to fight three enemies at once. All right, let's try it. I don't think there's any real point to S ranking outside of getting slightly higher generic rewards. I don't think there's any special battle chips or anything like that. Oh boy. So we finally meet. This merc looks pretty tough. Bella, we don't have this merc in the database. This one is a new variant. Codename assigned Kronos. Why Kronos? His power is greater than any merc we've faced before. Shoot. Instead of fighting it, can't we try to reason with it? Yeah, if you, well, if you can speak its language, be my guest. Huh? Merc, why did you bring us here? Do you understand anything I'm saying? Please say something. Bell, it's no use. We can't communicate with it. I know, but... Wait, what's the Merc doing? It's just glaring at us. It's staring at us. It's making me nervous. It's observing us. Maybe it's waiting to see what we'll do. There must be a reason why it brought us here. I don't know what that reason is, but... Maybe it's testing us. Bella, that sounds silly. I think it's waiting for us to run away so it can swoop in and eat us. Hmm, I don't think so. It would have done it by now. This Merc is... different. It's intelligent. Well, the Merc looks impatient. It could attack any moment. Even if this Merc is strong, it's still no match for the two of us. Alright, Tatra, the plan is simple. We tire it out by fighting it. At some point, it might try to flee through the wormhole. That's when we'll make our escape. What if the wormhole doesn't lead us back home? And we'll find one that does. The next warriors never give up, right, Tetra? Right, we won't stop until we succeed. Mwahaha! If this Merc goes back to Luna, we'll have to more problems on our hands. At least we can fight here without worrying about anyone getting hurt. Are you ready, Tetra? Merc Buster Tetra is ready. This is it. I'm gonna have to go all out. Listen up, Merc. I won't let you friend my hope people. I won't let you re re wreak havoc on Luna. I don't know why you brought us here, but one thing is for sure. We won't go down without a fight. Never underestimate a Lunex warrior. 700. Hmm. Best to save Echo Slash for the program advance, though, since it's so expensive. Okay, that was simple enough. Didn't have to use my shields that time. Hmm. SP regen, that'll help. Ow! Damn it, it fakes, it fakes me out! Well, fuck, I'm not going for S rank anyways. I just want to win, no matter what. Oh, come on! That faked me out there, too! Okay. Ha! Huh. 
Hmm, somebody says AI just pierces empty area if I'm not standing on it. Weird. Hmm. Oh my goodness, he faked me out, that fucker! Okay, let's use a new Loon Lux combo. If I use triple shield, I think it gets me something special. Shield regen for free turns. Excellent. That'll give me more room for error. But it's reset my echo slash. Fucking laser attack. How do these guys get in here? Oh, there goes all my SP, huh? Oh, that was close. Damn it, he's tr tr he's tr he's making his parents trickier. Faint dash. Yeah, he's he's always doing faints. Ah, damn, I fainted. I, I, I mistimed that. There we go. A rank, not good, but not bad either. Looks like we fi it finally calmed down. Huh? It's happening again. PR Protect Protect that, This voice It's the same voice from earlier Can you understand me? Bell look out more mercs Shoot we're surrounded Our bell must have caught their attention I'm detecting massive energy build up Holy shield overload Bell are you okay? I'm okay I used up all my holy shields Huff huff Gah, that was too close. I... I can't move a muscle. It seemed to attack the big one, too. The, uh, stay back, how dare you hurt Bella? Tetra, don't provoke them. Stay by my side. Huff, huff. We can't give up, no matter what.
Kronos protected us because we protected it, it, huh? I see. Ah! We're back on Luna. That was scary. I thought we were gonna die. Yeah, that was such a close call. Bella looked over- look over there! A red, red anti-core! No, so Kronos died? It's Kronos' anti-core. Kronos sacrificed its life to save us. Yeah. We misunderstood Kronos' intentions. I think it wanted, wanted our help or something, but how can you tell? It's hard to explain. I could sense Kronos' pain. I felt it in my soul. Is there a civil war among the the anti-matter monsters, the mercs? It might be related to the strange feelings I've been having lately. Bella, you need to tell me these types of things instead of keeping it to yourself. Yeah, I know, I know. Who knows what effects the fandom realm had on your body? There was anti-matter everywhere. We should get Dr. Thomas to examine you. Tetra is starting to get worried. No! Oh, uh, why not? Even if it wasn't our choice, we violated protocol by going to the fam realm. I don't want to get in trouble. I'll make sure to heal up in the healing chamber back at the station. Tetra, we have to keep this a secret. Promise me. You're, uh, is she going to become a vigilante too if this gets found out? Okay, I promise. But if I see any strange activity in your vital scans, we have to tell Dr. Thomas. Alright. I know we're supposed to transfer anti course back to HQ, but... I think I'm gonna hold on to this anti uh, uh, the anti course we obtained from now on. Okay, now we have two anti cores with us. Heh. <laughs> Kronos. Thank you. Thank you for protecting us, Kronos. Protect. That reminds me, do you hear Kronos speak? What? It spoke? I didn't hear anything. Hmm, might have been <laughs> telepathic communication. Makes me wonder if all mercs have this ability. Strange. Kronos' voice didn't sound like any voice I've ever heard before, yet it felt oddly familiar. If I can someday learn to communicate with the mercs, maybe we can find the peace we've been striving for. Looks like we learned some valuable information today about the mercs. Heh. <laughs> There's still so much we don't know, though. This journey is just beginning. Mom, please watch over us. I'll do my best to protect the people of Luna. Come on, Tetra, we should get some rest. Let's finally head home. Alright, our ship should be still be parked at the so Southeast Hover Port. Let's go, go, go! Okay, now I can head to the space station, but... There's supposed to be a bonus boss right through that uh, 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 right through that portal uh, there. Okay, let's try out this bonus boss. The anti-cores in your possession uh, are reacting to the markings on the wall. Phantom Realm. Wait, is this a bonus dungeon or bonus boss? I can't tell. So send us all the way back here. Okay, good to know there's a soul save point here. So the so there is a boss here. Again. Is that Kronos? No, that's a phantom. Boss mercs expel so much anti-matter that even after they are defeated, their excess anti-matter can sometimes form into a phantom. It's essentially a violent cluster of energy that takes the form of a boss merc. Before Phantoms awaken, they accumulate tons of anti matter from their surroundings, which can make them stronger than their original counterpart. Whoa, uh, Tetra, where do you get this information? It's from Dr. Thomas's restricted archives. I may or may not have secretly downloaded some of the files. Heh. <laughs> Anyways, we've got a Phantom to deal with right now. Phantom Buster sidekick Tetra is ready for battle. This is bad. It's even. Sh it has twice as much health. So I'm gonna have to actually use my items this time. Blocked it, but damn. Shields. They're faster. Huh. Hmm. 
Your aim seems to be better too. Shit. So tanky, though. Lux combos. Okay, this is supposed to increase the power of my Echo Slash now. I can only afford to do this one more time. Or ignore the cost. Hmm. Lux combo I can't do yet. No damage for one turn, huh? Damn it, and he just had to use his easy uh, attack for that one. What a dick. He knew I was going to do that. tricked me out. He did it faster this time. Oh, that was close. I mistimed that. And he's still at the last second. Okay. One more Echo Slash, hopefully. Echo Slash. 
Never underestimate I S-ranked the bonus boss! I can't believe it! Sector 16 has finally opened back up. I'm glad things got resolved. Now I can go home and play video games with my daughter. Woohoo! Okay, this guy's still eating his crunchy bar. And I don't think there's anything else I can do in this area. I already solved the laser puzzle. Yeah, it was pretty tough. I think I spent mo the majority of my footage that will have to be cut will be from the laser puzzle. I actually found the freaking cat before I solved the laser puzzle. That's how tough it was. Hey, this is strange. I noticed. Even though I beat Chron... Uh, 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 even though I beat both b b versions of Chronos, only the EX version is recorded right now. And that actually does a pretty good amount of damage, too. Even its weakest attack is it does 25 per hit. But what about the non-EX version? Its data is gone forever. That's so... Uh, that is a very strange design choice. Um, it's not like it really affects gameplay, but I don't know. Some people might want to look back and see just how much stronger the boss got compared to last time. The view is really pretty from up here. It is. This is one of my favorite spots to visit. Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think we'll ever find a way to hide from the mercs? Or at least prevent them from hurting us? I'm not one to hold grudges, but they took the life of my husband. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. I don't want anyone else to experience the same suffering as me. Ma'am, we'll find a way. I don't want people to live in fear of what's out there in the universe. Humanity grows and flourishes with our curiosity to learn and discover. On behalf of the Lunex Force and myself, we'll do our best. Thank you. Anytime. Oh, I never noticed this poster back here. Poster of two cool video game characters. Caption reads, Legacy of Cosmic Network. Model and Supply Carrier. Oh, I can't observe it now. The hovercraft can travel for, uh, far and wide thanks to its gravity propulsion system. Are you ready to head to the Lunex space station? Are you si Wait, why is it- make sure it's safe first. Is there another boss I have to worry about? Sure, let's do it. Is there gonna- is it gonna get attacked or something? I didn't think there'd be another boss, but who knows? Lunar Lux. Oh, credits. No Bob Moynudin. Programming. No Bob Lisa Bentley, Jason Boyd. Hmm. Art No Bob. Jesus Oro Delgado Sprites. Consular character portraits. Hugo Miramonte Spectrized logo. Sinistarino Bella Pixel icon. Hmm. Yeah, that was quite intense. Honestly, this sounds kind of weird, but I actually found the the boss easier to S rank than dealing with three enemies at once without any backup. Since I can't generate, uh, if they un unleash three unblockable attacks, one of them is going to go through no matter how many times I spam my shield, unless I get really lucky with the shield, uh, 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 the shield support skill. Yeah, so, so ba uh, normal battles, while they don't deal as much damage, it's also very hard to actually av completely avoid damage and get an S rank. Well, if bosses, they have tougher patterns and more and can deal more damage, but you usually can generate enough shields to get around it, anyways. The almost uh, uh, yeah, the, at least for this boss, this boss at least only ha uh, uh, all of its un undodgeable attacks can be survived with one or two shields. Is it possible to re-challenge the EX boss again and again? Just to see if you- just to try to get the S rank? Hmm. Yeah, that time I got kind of lucky with uh, with some of my bad shield timing. Congratulations! You have completed the Chapter 1. Follow Lunar Lux Game on Twitter to stay updated on the latest news and release, release dates. We sincerely appreciate your support. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing Lunar Lux. Chapter 2 Preview? Is it a cutscene or is there a playable part of the preview? 
Is that Thomas? Good morning, Dr. Thomas. Yeah, hey, your weekly report is ready. Dr. Thomas? Beautiful, isn't it? Luna is always a sight to behold. Is Thomas going to turn out to be the bad guy? Mm, yes, indeed. Quite a sight to behold. <laughs> Humanity has come so far. And yet, there is so much more to learn and discover. The boundless potential we have is astronomical. Mm, yes, truly astronomical. Reeves, summary please. There were seven Merc incidents this week. Thankfully, no casualties. Furthermore, Kepler Ranch has had a decrease in food production. These unpredictable mercs are destroying our infrastructure. The damaged farm and food sectors may take a while to rebuild. At this rate, we may not even last decades, Mia. We must never give up, Reeves. These, the people have placed their trust in us. Science has gotten us this far. But what if science ends up destroying you too? We will continue to research the mercs and innovate our technologies. It's our duty to ensure future generations can live in prosperity. Yeah, that sounds like... Uh, uh, that sounds ominous. That sounds like foreshadowing that your science will somehow deplete your resources or make the Merc attacks worse. Code Red, unidentified astral body detected. Nyla, what's the situation? Our sensors have picked up a massive comet. Let me confirm the approximate coordinates. Estimated time of contact is about 377 days. That's a year. It's on a direct collision course towards Luna. Impossible. Something this close should have been detected sooner. Our sen sensors should, should be working properly. It must have uh, teleported from the Phantom World, that's how. Unless... Reeves, what does the molecular scan show? Doctor, we're detecting massive levels of positron emissions. Positrons? This can't be. It's made of antimatter. Apocalypsis. Our predictions estimate another thousand years before it would return. How large is it? Yeah, <laughs> Doctor, it's about 2,000 kilometer in di diameter. Astronomical, this comet is half the size of Luna. Looks like it completed its irregular orbit much sooner than we expected. Thomas, could this be? Yes, I'm afraid it is. This is the comet that phased through Terra a thousand years ago, and nearly succeeded in wiping out humanity. Comet Coda has returned, and we have only one year to figure out how to avert catastrophe. I have a plan. Reeves. Nyla. Emergency meeting in my lab. Send a report to General Saros and send a request for his attendance. And tell Bella to come as well. It's been a few hours since the Sector 16 breach. I hope she's okay. Everyone else, please gather all the data you can you can and monitor Comet Coda. Yes, Dr. Thomas. I have to stay calm and keep everyone's spirits up. Humanity's end. I cannot accept this. The future of the people of Luna is in our hands. Okay, yeah, that is pretty much it for the demo. Yeah, un uh, I feel like unlike uh, uh, Star Force and Battle Network, yeah, there, uh, a lot of damage is unavoidable. It's, it's kind of closer to a normal turn-based RPG that way. Of course, that's only if you're fighting three enemies at once, with only two, uh, 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 well, only being able to regen two shields per turn if you if you get unlucky. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try out the demo for yourself.